my Capricorn, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, this is your October prediction, so let's get started with your reading. So we're going to be doing your general energy, your career and your love life. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, my uh, background is a bit different. I'm mixing it up a bit and I quite like it. It's quite cosy, so <laughs> very cosy for autumnal, autumnal vibes. So let's get started with your reading. We're going to have a look into your general energy first and see what you need for the month of October, what you need to know. All that jazz so my lovely capricorns let's get started so we have the numerology guidance card we're going to have a look and see what does capricorn need to know for the month of october please i'm seeing you guys are really vibing with the halloween vibes so for a lot of you a lot of change is going to happen around uh october okay so let's is there any other card? No. Okay, so we have creativity underneath the deck, which is really, really nice. This is number three. So number three is the number of creativity. That could also be your life path number. Or it could be a number that you see repeating quite a lot. So I feel like creativity is very good for you to spice up your life. Pretty much spice up your life. <laughs> I get that song from Spice Girls. So we have relationship change, 56, which five plus six is 11. And then one one is twin flame and two. So it could be a relationship change coming in if you see the number two, two repeating, uh, or two, two, two repeating, or two, 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 two. <laughs> then that is a sign. Uh, three repeat, three repeating and two repeating. And you also have karmic completion. So you guys have a nice karmic completion, which is amazing. So if you guys I see a relationship change, this can be going from friends to relationship. This can be going from uh, having friends, more more friends, making new friends. Uh, this can be going from friends to, I want to say, uh, F buddies. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe for some of you guys. Um, so like spicing up your life, as I said, getting some intimacy in there. Um, I also see some friendship changes so possibly there could be like an advancement in a friendship so I feel like it could be some like some like advancement in a friendship so it possibly if you had some friendship issues I see that being resolved and I see possibly like a higher understanding for each other um there's also a sense of karmic completion here as well so basically that could mean that new friendships are coming in to kind of bring in new karma. Um, there could be a new relationship forming, which is really, really good. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys. So that's absolutely amazing. I'm seeing someone very creative coming in as well, or you just kind of being more creative. Um, so let's get some more advice for you guys. So what's this karmic completion, please? I love that karmic completion card. It makes me so freaking happy. You guys have got a really good month this month discernment okay so this is all is not what it seems stay true to your knowing keep your dreams a secret so this is to do with karmic completion so i do feel like a lot of you are resting up which is a lot to do with this libra energy this libra energy is all about our relationships beauty love balance all that sort of stuff so there may be a little bit of kind of intensity going on but that's fine because it means things need to be ruffled up and I'm feeling this definitely as well. I mean, I'm a water sign, but I think it's all the same for everyone, kind of going through this Libra energy. Underneath, we have Goddess. Honour your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. This is for relationship change. So your relationship could change within yourself then. It means that basically how you see yourself could be different. You could have, have an epiphany, that sort of thing. Um, so we've got three cards that came out for relationship change we have growth intuition and gentleness so definitely seeing something new within yourself and um feeling into those vibes and really kind of going with the flow and i easier said than done but i definitely feel like you're going to be doing that uh, you're going to be growing through this change your intuition is going to be heightened and you're going to be really kind to yourself you need to be really kind to yourself this month i feel like this um halloween is going to bring a lot of kind of spiritual energy for you and i know uh, on Halloween the veil is uh, is thinnest so for some reason I feel like a lot of your guides are going to be coming through in Halloween and Halloween time um you're the first sign that I've said this too so it's definitely going to be more towards you guys and um, there could be a certain person you're wanting to talk to in terms of spirits maybe there's somebody who's passed over and you're hoping to get a message I do definitely see that happening for you guys 
So let's have a look and see what's happening for love. We have the uh, Seven of Swords in reverse. Is that reverse? Yeah, I thought that. Mm. Yeah, that's in reverse. So we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands. We also have, let's have a look. <clears throat> We also have the Three of Wands. This is to do with your love life. So you're releasing some energy in terms of toxic relationship, toxic friendships, or just toxic energy. I oh, Ace of Cups, amazing. Got the Ace of Cups. I feel like you're letting go of that person. So it could be a toxic friendship that you need to let go of, which is why we have possibly have this relationship change. I'll look into this relationship change for you as well, guys, in the book, because it gives you extra advice and guidance. And then we also have the Nine of Pentacles. I always see this as the Eight of Pentacles. I don't know why. But... Right. So, at the start of the month, or possibly at some point in the month, I do see you leaving some sort of old energy, which is the Karmic Completion. I see you leaving like an old friendship that kind of possibly isn't for you anymore um, and you're becoming more stable within yourself. You're kind of giving yourself permission to um, kind of uh, give yourself permission to kind of leave this old energy and kind of bring in this new energy. Um, I'm going to just pull another card for you from the Unicorn deck by Doreen Virtue. I'm just going to see what else is coming through for you. It's okay to be different, just be yourself. <laughs> Basically the same card. So we have light. See the light within yourself and everyone else. So it's definitely a change within your own, real with your relationship with yourself. Definitely, I definitely feel that. Um, it's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect just the way you are. So it's definitely an element of not blending in and kind of standing out. It's just be yourself. You're a great person, enjoy being yourself. So that's basically what's going on. As I said, I feel like there's a friendship or relationship that's changing and you're kind of learning to deal with that. You learn to figure out, okay, how do I deal with this situation? Um, what am I going to do about this situation? Am I going to kind of leave or am I going to have a chat about it? And it's basically you just saying, okay, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm going to like, what is the best road for me to kind of go down? Yeah. And that's basically this energy you're leaving this. And you're going towards somebody who's much more mature. I do see this person as quite an intimate person. So I do sense that there could have been something to do with like a friends with benefits situation or like a hookup that kind of could have turned into something that was a bit too much. Or it could have been a lot more than what you thought it was going to be. And they kind of throw it through you a bit. Um, I do see there's going to be somebody coming in from a far off land or you're kind of looking out or you're traveling this month. Um, and you're going to find something that really, really suits you. I see you finding your purpose this month. That sounds amazing. Yeah, I love that. I definitely felt that so strongly. Um, your purpose and your purpose for life. Okay, so I feel that like you could be meeting someone new. And they could help you to bring in your purpose. I feel like this could also be you um, figuring out what lights you up. And the fact we have light really kind of reminds me of that. What lights you up. What makes you feel like yourself. And... Um, yeah, and you're seeing light within everyone else as well. I think that's a good thing as well. I feel like you're possibly getting a bit down and feeling like everyone sucks. <laughs> but that's kind of natural with this Libra energy. I'm feeling it 100%. So with this Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, you are definitely in your own single energy. So if you're single, that is for you. And you're really embracing that, you know. And I feel like because you're embracing that, people are seeing that and thinking, I want a piece of that. I want a piece of dead ass. <laughs> I want dead ass. No, like I want, maybe, but I, they're seeing you for who you are. And the more you are yourself, like these cards say, it's okay to be yourself, just, just be yours. It's okay to be different, just be yourself. The more you do that, the more you're going to be, become more magnetic, you know? Um, so in terms of those of you who are in relationships, um, I see a little bit of messing around and coming out of it so there may be like an argument that could happen where you resolve it and i do see you possibly just walking away i see a break possibly happening if 
I don't see it suddenly though. I see it possibly kind of like brewing and then you're being like, right, I can't deal with this. I need to have my own space. Possibly doing that. But then I also see you guys coming together again and kind of reconciling being it's okay. And um, that was just an argument and I'm, I feel like we understand each other a bit better now. Yeah. I don't know if that resonates for you guys, but I hope it does. I also see travel for you guys and I also see possibly an old person coming back from the past, possibly a fire sign and just arguments being resolved. Okay. So let's have a look at your career section and see what's going on there. We have the Hermit. We have a lot of cards coming out. We have the Empress, Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords, we have the Death card, we have the Five of Cups in reverse, I love that position, I love when it's in reverse, I don't like the Five of Cups, not my favourite card, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse underneath the deck. So you may be feeling a little bit lacking of confidence this month in terms of your career and your um, oh, getting massive neck pain. If any of you guys have got neck pain or shoulder pain, that could be you. I don't think that was me because that suddenly just came on. Yeah, I feel like you need to assert yourself more. There's definitely going to be somebody who come back from the past or an old job wants you back. Um, I do sense that there's definitely going to be like, maybe, okay, I'm guessing someone who you hooked up with could give you an offer within your work. So you could be hooking up with somebody to like, get ahead in work. <laughs> it sounds so dodgy. But you know, some of these, these things do happen, so I'm not judging. Um, I'm also seeing for you guys, there's going to be an old offer coming back, as I said, from the past. And you're going to be deciding whether you want it or not. I feel like you're going to have quite a few options within your work, whatever that means to you. Whether you're looking for jobs, whether you are... Um, wanting to get a one up in your like the department whether you wanted to change it up and just do something new I do see that happening and I see you kind of really embracing and figuring out what you love about your job or kind of adding your own spice to your job and kind of making it your own and being very content with that we have the death card uh, we have the ten of swords of the death card and the five of cups this has suddenly turned itself up I swear it was in the reverse when I pulled it out um so I feel like for you guys, there is an element of leaving something behind and letting it die, which is really good. We want to do that if we want to let it go, you know. It's it's enough to kind of move away from something, but you've got to let it die. You can't keep thinking about it. you got to actually let it go and, and completely be, uh, completely like leave it in the past. Um, just put my hair back. <laughs> leave it in the past. Um, so I definitely feel like you guys are going to be doing that um, for some of you guys obviously this doesn't resonate for all of you as it is a general reading but it may be a job that you're leaving behind that you didn't really want to leave or possibly could be uh, you quitting your job as well I don't see you becoming redundant it's more about you quitting I see you're the one in control but I feel like you're being sad about it because possibly you're going to miss your colleagues and things like that but I sense it's going to be a really good turning point for you and um, as I say relationship change you could be changing relationships with your um colleagues and karmic completion you're going to complete your karma in terms of your work life and the hermit um this is you trying not to get overthinking trying not to overthink too much and you becoming more stable and to really focus on what you want to change you know try don't avoid thoughts that are coming in thinking i want to leave i want to leave but i can't just like really focus on what is it that you want to do and what are the actions you need to move towards going towards that thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for being here i really really appreciate you if you'd like to subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it give it a big old thumbs up comment down below um i really appreciate all the thumbs up and comments as it gives more traction to my channel and it helps me get seen by um people so i can reach more people so i really appreciate that and yeah if you'd like to get a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon lots of love cat <laughs> lots of love capricorn and i'll speak to you very soon Bye.